Hi everyone, welcome to RC Model Mart. Let's see what we've got in store today. Hi everyone, Model Mark here. As well as the excitement of getting the Phoenix 2400 come through yesterday, today the postman's brought this. This is the Echine TX16S, so let's unbox it and see what we've got. Okay, we are very exciting this one. Let's open it up. Been looking forward to this all week. TX16S. Nicely wrapped, bit of a dink in the box there and on the corner. Hoping that will all be fine. So let's unwrap this and see how it looks. Plastic away. There we go. Have our box. Opens at the top, we reveal the big solid case, the user manual in the box. And all the basic stuff, switch positions, things like that. And handy reference. Now these boxes I believe actually make good um, Good boxes to take with you when you go to the field and there's a couple of people on Thingiverse have done handles that fit on here so you can get it as a proper hand carry handle there's also one that's done a, a lock for it so they're quite neat right then let's let's open it let's see what we've been waiting for oh that's very nice Very nice, matte, matte black. Decent weight. You can see at the moment it's mode two, and I fly mode one, so I'll be changing, changing that over. I'll give you a look at it first. All the angles. Okay, so before I move on and look at the radio properly, let's just see what else we have in the bag. So we have a screen protector, spare springs for your gimbals, and also, I don't know if you can see that, two small grub screws. And those grub screws go in the end of your Transmitter stick. So once you've adjusted the length that you want, you put the grub screws in to lock, lock those off. And we have a USB-C lead that can be used for both charging it and for data transfer when you're using um, Companion, OpenGX Companion. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got. Um, Obviously we've got our sticks nice nice and smooth, they're quite firm at the moment. You can see there's a bit of, bit of bounce in them, fairly firm movement. Um, but these are adjustable through the front, so through the gimbal holes you can actually set and change the adjustments on these. So I'm told without taking it apart we can turn it into a mode 1 purely by um, removing the ratchet on this and adding the ratchet on that one and then adjust the tensions to suit and then in the menu we'll be able to change it until it's a mode one 
So we've got our four main sticks. We've got the the trims for those channels. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Also got trims for channels five and six, um, which I'll, I'll look at. I think that depends on how you allocate the channels to which use five and six, so it's not a fixed thing. You've got your six flight mode buttons are down here. It's on the radio masters; so they're across the top, but these are down the bottom here. Nice and easy to get to. You've got your control buttons to get into your menus down the side, and another one that side plus the the roller. That's a nice roller with a click as well. Shouldn't hear that. Two rotary switches on the top three-way switch three-way switch three-way and three-way that's nice so all four are three-way on the top another three-way at the front two-way at the back three-way that side and a momentary switch on that side. Quite useful the momentaries. Um, you've got things that auto bind you can set channel 16 up to do your binding and then you just pull that to bind your plane. Some planes need to, to bind every time you turn them on. Then on the side you've got the sliders. They're alright actually I, people had said it wasn't very decisive in the middle but that's actually quite a good feel. In the center there don't have a problem with that fixed aerial on the top so you can't can't remove that you have two screw holes here so you've got a FPV monitor or something like that that you want to mount off the front you've got the screw holes to do that we've got a cover in the top here that gives us access um, in there to the USB C port and to the sorry that gives us access in there to the USB C port which is used for the data when you're using it with OpenTX Companion and also to the trainer port if you're using a trainer lead. There's also a nice little tip with these where you can actually pop a, a, a 4 in 1 module in the back here and use that to wirelessly do your training um, with people that Painless 360 have done a nice video on how to set that up. Underneath there's another another port. If we can get to it. So in here we have two UART ports. Um, not defined what they're used for. We've got USB-C and it would appear that it's come with a memory card as well. So we have a 256 meg memory card. Wow. So I'll probably replace that with a decent card. Not worth risking any of your stuff on there. Already got screen protector on the front, nice big screen. Then around the back is the battery panel. So pop that down, and in here <coughs> we have a tray for two um, 18650s. I've got a couple of two energies, two and a half thousand milliamp hours, lithium ion 3.7 volts, um, and I've got some others on the way as well, which I'll, I'll review when they come in. So this should do nicely for our power. There is a warning on here about making sure you put them in the right way, so it appears that there's no reverse polarity protection with this, so you do need to be really careful. Uh, what I may do is add another lead on here so that it can be 
put into a, a standard uh, RC charger so I may charge them separately in this I'll see how it goes once I've got a few batteries it's going to be fairly easy to swap them over so I'll do that and then also on the back is the panel here the other modules that you can have so you can put a 4 in one in again it's got a 4 in one built in anyway with open TX but if you want to you can put a 4 in one in and as I say you can do wireless training or you can put the new uh, ultra long range modules in if you're doing very long range FPV okay so I think we need to pop some batteries in and just see what she looks like As expected the spring to the flat part these are flat tops but they've still got a little button top if you like so the button top goes to the top and the completely flat part goes to the base and that's our, our batteries in that then plugs in on what looks like a, a balance lead charger down the bottom It's plugged in. There's loads of room in here actually, absolutely loads of room. I've seen people use other batteries and you can also put a 2S Lipo in if you want to. Really thick foam on the back as well of this, if you can see that. So that it holds those batteries really snugly in place. It's a really good snug fit. And then you get to see it for the first time as I do. As it Welcome to up. Open TX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. And there we go. See, it's got preloaded, preloaded models. Really smart. I'm not going to go further into all this. Loads of videos out there about about this. I just wanted to show you what it looked like when it first came. See if I can uh, just go in the model menu. Okay, so that's the model it comes with. If you hold down the scroll wheel for a second, you get the model select. And then we can see what's built into here. So you've got our arrows, delta, quad, OMP hobby M2, and heli. So you can choose between helicopters and aircraft. Hopefully you can see some of this quite quite bright in here, and you can just select whichever aircraft you want throttle warning armed there you go it's all set up armed as well and you can see the scrollers move as, as the functions move it's got voice control so I'm guessing that's, that's your throttle and actually backwards to how I do it on the top. So I normally have it towards me to arm and. and a way to disarm. Okay, but you get an idea. Look, nice radio. What I'm going to do next is look at cloning all of my models. I've got Tranis uh, X9D Plus with a 4 in 1 module. So I'm looking to clone that onto this. So that I don't have to rebind all the FL Sky receivers. And I'm also looking at copying and cloning all the models that I use with a 4 in 1 on my Tranis onto this. Uh, and to do that, I'll need to change the um, ID of the module on here so it matches my original one and then everything should bind up. Uh, but I'll see how that goes, and if needs be, I'll do a video on that as well. 
So there we go. Lovely. Happy with that. Um, really nice, smart looking radio. Love the screen. Love all the functions. Sounds good. Hope you've enjoyed that. Just an unboxing. You've seen it for the first time as I've seen it for the first time. Um, and if I can do other videos of any features, I will do. And I'll get my Phoenix 2400 set up now with this as well as soon as all the other parts come and my LZRC X360 helicopter which I'm about to start building this will be used for that as well okay don't forget to like and subscribe links for this and all my other stuff down at the bottom of the video hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time thank you bye bye